The UK and Norway have led a new maritime coalition for Ukraine. The countries pledged to provide ships and vehicles to the Ukrainian Navy to strengthen its defense capabilities in the Black Sea. The first deliveries have already been announced in London. Today I can announce the UK is gifting 23 on and offshore <coughs> raiding craft and 20 rapidly deployable Viking amphibious vehicles. I can also announce we're supporting Ukraine to procure two nine counter vessels from the UK. We will help Ukraine strengthen its naval defences and improve their ability to operate along their own coast. Freedom of movement and open trade routes in the Black Sea is crucial. Following Russia's withdrawal from the Black Sea Grain Initiative, the aggressor country has been trying to block Ukrainian exports by sea, in particular by mining ship roads. Ukraine isn't the only country that suffers from Russia's mines in the Black Sea. It has also created problems for other countries, for example, Romania. Another example was an incident in February 2023, when one of these munitions exploded off the coast of Georgia in Batumi. Therefore, according to the Ukrainian Defense Minister Rustam Umirov, the priority task of the Mar Maritime coalition is to secure the Black Sea coast. Our victory depends on technological advantage. Russia must not feel safe in any part of the Black Sea. Together with our partners, we can develop naval aviation, reliable coastal defense and other joint capabilities. Among the top priorities is to make the Black Sea coast safe from sea mines. Rustem Umerov, Minister of Defense of Ukraine on Facebook. Ukraine is systematically destroying the Russian Black Sea fleet using maritime drones. The Russian Federation in turn is deploying more forces to fight Ukrainian maritime drones and is trying to copy this technology. The enemy facing a new threat is trying to adjust to find a way of fighting the new means of defeat. There are helicopters on patrol in the Black Sea setting up barriers in base. Even sea dolphins have been tried to be used. And the emergence of new means of counteraction leads to the improvement of technologies and means of defeat. Kyiv continues to ramp up production of maritime drones. Marichka, Sea Baby, Magura V5 and other drones are in service at the Ukrainian army. With their help, the armed forces of Ukraine hit the Russian frigate Admiral Makarov, minesweeper Ivan Golubets, recognizing ship Ivan Hurs, patrol vessel Sergei Kotov, and landing boats Akula and Serna projects. Reported by Anastasia Tarnavska, Nikita Skoblikov, UATV News.